Yo, Sakafed, welcome to my channel. I'm Sammy Biz, and today I'm gonna show you how to remix any song. First, we're gonna see how to extract the vocal from the original version using the Uni Converter 14. After, we're gonna build a new with a one the vocal extracted. And also, guys, I will show you some useful tools from the Uni Converter that can help you improve your production. So, let's have some fun. The first thing you need to create a remix is selecting a song. I already selected one. It's Kulosa by Oxlade. It's a really nice song. Now guys, the next thing to do is that extract the vocal from the original song. So I'm going to show you how you can do that with the Uni Converter. But first, let me show you how to download the Uni Converter. Go to Google and then type Uni Converter 14 and then it's going to be the first link to show. So you click on it and then you can free download it or buy it. It's so simple like that, guys. So now we get back to FL Studio and open the Unit Converter 14. And you see that the noise remover and the vocal remover are free. So I'm going to click on it. And then you see it's a add or drag audio video file to start. So I'm going to drag my audio and then it's a okay and then you see that the ai is analyzing it. it's not gonna take too much time it's very quick and then it's gonna really remove the vocal from the instrumental so you can see now we have the original and then we have the the music that is the instrumental and then here we have the vocal so let me play them separately for you. and then for the vocal you can decide which one to export if you're an artist this gonna help you also if you're an artist and there's a song and then you want to remix it you can export the the music or the instrumental and then you can drop on it if you're a producer like me and then want to quit the remix we're gonna use the vocal so let's just ex export it just save and like one second to export guys not really too much time and then now I have it right here. No, now I'm going to drag it into FL Studio. Let me drag it in FL Studio and then boom. Here I have my vocal in FL Studio. Now I can start working on the vocal. I think the, the tempo for this song uh, is 92, I think. So, yeah. It's 93 and then we're gonna remove this, this empty space right here. Okay, so let's just yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, no. so my this is where the first time starts, so we're gonna put it on time right here. So many reasons where I and guys, we're gonna select the part that we wanna work on. I'm gonna work on the chorus. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it right here. B, and then we drag it right here. Then, then boom, we have it. Right. So now, first thing first, guys, we're gonna try to find the chord progression. And add labs. Okay, I, I think I find the, the first one is gonna be this. Um, it's like. Okay, we have the second one, it's... And then now we are gonna add the bass note. Nice. 
and then we're gonna make this dos and shade. Nice. Okay. Now we have our we have our couple question. And the next thing you know, I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go to uh fire. I go to the modules for the and then I'm gonna use the groove and bass. And then I'm gonna go selected the low notes only. Like the low notes, they're gonna be my bass. And then I have a comment C. And then I'll go to groove and bass. Okay, nice. Next thing I'm gonna add a uh, flex so I can really create a nice guitar vibe, you know. So uh, go to I think I'm gonna use the hybrid guitar and then and then we're gonna call this right here da -da -da -da. Da -da. something like that common x and then simple like that da -da -da -da. something like that Something simple like that, guys. And then we have this right here. We're gonna place them. Right. Nice. Now we have our guitar. So nice. I'm gonna use Nexus just to add. Uh, go to factory preset and then go to Twins Gate. There is one that I really love. I think, I think it's either green. I'm gonna use it so we can really add this compa vibe. Comment C, comment V. And then next thing you know, I'm gonna comment L. And then now, guys, we're gonna start adding like a uh, percussion. Um, let me go to my compa sample tool. We're gonna add a Kali. So simple like that, and then we duplicate it. But we're gonna go to fire and then go to conga. Use this. And then next thing gonna be this zook so it's like we combine them then. and then like it's like we're gonna add we're gonna add this right here. Nice, nice. And the next thing gonna be a, a kick. I'm gonna go to Afro it Volume One, and then I'm gonna use a nice kick. Let's see if we can use this one. Like, feel each first step. And then now, guys, I'm gonna add uh, another. Compa vibe. I think I'm gonna use this conga so we can really add some compa conga. This 
this one this one is like basic compare vibe guys and then we're gonna use the cobel top 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 something like that that's recorded and then now guys the next thing we're gonna add is floaty jackson so we can add a a log drum transition i really love this transition it's like my signature it's like my signature when i'm creating afro zoo uh afro compa stuff like that and yeah it's definitely something that i really love and then comment b but for those one we're gonna make make it like shorter and then you have it like this boom and then our transition <laughs> something like that and then we're gonna use a crash from uh maybe a for it volume one i'm gonna have something different and then guys next thing gonna be uh adding uh let me see um I'm gonna go to a full vibe and then use the percussion. This one, so it's like we are adding really a uh, afro afro beat percussion or dance. So we can call it however we want it. However we want it, it's gonna so, something like that, and then we can go right here and then boom, here we are. Again. You can see the process is pretty simple. I just used the Unicorn Converter 14 to extract the vocal from the original song. By the way, thanks for Dasha for sending the Unicorn Converter 14. I really love it. Guys, if you want it, I'll put the link in the description box so you can go check it out, guys. It's a really great tool. So, after I just create the chord, add drum, add melody, and then here we have a nice compa remix of the Kulosa song by Oxlade. So now I'm gonna show you some other future and the unique converter guys that you can use. And there is one of them that I really love and it's free. It's the noise remover guys, you know. My wife is running a YouTube channel. It's basically vlogging, but you know, sometime when you vlog in the car, you can hear the engine sound, the noise of everything so i'm gonna use the noise remover so you can see how you can really clean a vocal and then mix it and do everything i'm gonna show you how i use the unique converter to remove background noise on the vocal so you can see those tools are free when you have the unique converter you don't need to pay extra money for them they are free also guys if you want to record your screen like i'm creating this video now you see that i'm recording my screen you can use the unique converter to record your screen, edit your video, and I think you should consider using this tool because it's really good, guys. All you need to do, guys, is click on noise remover and then drag the audio. So let me play. How the audio. cool is this one? It's called Fuji Wayal. Some of the leaves don't have any. This one has a lot of background noise because we were, were on the street. Uh, so we just click on start all, and then gonna export it. And guys, here is the result. How cool is this one? It's called Fuji Wayal. Some of the leaves don't have any markings, and then some do. You just export it like that, and then you have it without the, so you can work on it, mix it, and then make it sound even better. It's like that, guys. Now, let's think about another scenario where you're working with an artist, and then you find a beat on YouTube and say, hey, I love this beat, but I want to try it first before I purchase it. And it's pretty easy. You just go to youtube and then find the beat make sure you find the, the beat and then you copy the link you go to under share and then you go to download there you just paste the link you see you paste the link automatically and now you select the format you want let's go for the mp3 and then you can see that it's 320 kilobit per second that means it's good quality so and then you just click download and it's gonna download it and also guys sometimes we're trying to satisfy for an artist a beat maker that we are collaborating with on whatsapp and whatsapp said 
you can set the fake cost it's too large so you can just go to compressor and then you click on the plus button for example let's say that we were gonna try to send this one we load it and you can see the original file is for the 1.1 megabyte and now it's gonna convert it like 3.2 megabyte you can compress multiple files at the same time you just click on plus and then you add the other file and then you can just go and start off but now you can try to customize setting for each file for example we can go to this one and then we customize it let's say that uh we want it to uh let's say we want it to be like two megabytes something like that boom okay and also guys you need to take care about those settings for example the low quality standard and then high quality on audio we always need to use high quality we'll always select high quality and then you can click on start all and then it's gonna compress all those files the last tool i'm showing you today is the converter guys i remember i created a bit and then i have it on my hard drive and i lose all my file on the hard drive but i created the video for youtube and then i airdrop the video on my phone in that case what you can do you can airdrop the video back on your computer and then you click on the plus button and then let's say this one is the video you click on it and then now you click on this setting so you can customize everything it, it's a video and if you want to convert it into like mov is an mp2 you can convert it in mkv avi stuff like that but we want audio so you click on audio and then you select wave because we always want wave guys because it's high quality and then you see it's a lossless quality that's mean you are gonna lose any quality so and then you go create let's see wave convert you have it and then you click on save and then now you can just click on convert and then and you can say now it says successful that means it's convert the video to wave and then you can see that is the finished product that is the bit <laughs> so simple like that it's basically it. you can use all those tools guys when you buy the unit converter don't forget i put the link in the description box yeah guys i really love the remix that we create today it's a really good vibe good compound vibe let me let you enjoy it that's it guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions please Leave them down below or DM me. Also, don't forget to check out the Uniconverter 14. I'll put the link in the description box. See you guys in the next one. Bow!